What's up guys, Stravecraft here, and today we are going to be here for episode 2 of our roleplay series, guys. And uh, as you guys can see, I've been doing a little bit of work on the base. Uh, I've been adding some stuff. I've been, I'm, I've just been like grinding insanely, trying to get the best kind of uh, swords. And I finally got them. You guys, I'm going to show you um, both of them. Probably just, just, I don't know. I'm, I've been grinding for a little bit trying to get these swords right here adding swords, finding out the best types, and, um, yeah, so I finally managed to get this two swords that I actually really wanted, first sword being the sacrifice sword, this sword I'm going to be using to sacrifice my mobs, I'm going to be talking about that later in the video, and how the process really works, and what goes with it, and then my other one, it's not a sword, it's my saber, the mob king saber, guys, um, I, I just, this probably one. I think this is the best sword you can actually get from vanilla Minecraft that we can possibly get right now. I'm um, pretty. Sure, I think Builder though, he has a better sword, but we won't be able to use that. But this I think is the closest we can get to it. And um, yeah, guys. So I've also been trying to enchant bows, and uh, I want you guys to leave in the description below what you guys want to name these bows. Do you guys want to keep them the Storm Disappearance Freeze? Uh, an explosion bow, or do you guys like want to switch it up? So leave in the description what you guys think each bow name should be, and uh, so yeah, guys, we'll we'll do that later on. And uh, for this episode, we are going to be doing a little bit of raiding. Um, so everyone basically in the series knows where everyone else's base is. Like there are little cords. Um, I actually haven't got all the cords yet, but I know where some people's bases are. So we're going ahead. And we're going to be stealing a little bit of things. So, uh, yeah, let's get right to it. Um, first off, let's try the easy one. I got this one today. It's Wixie's base. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I love this base. It's kind of, this kind of also gonna be like, kind of like a tour, a uh, base tour, not only that. I, I love this base. I've been, I've been looking at it. I haven't really checked what's, um, what they really have. I haven't checked through all of it. But just the layout, it's so cool. Like the way everything's placed, it's in a, it's in a ravine like this. I I love the base. So shout out to Wixie. Now, even though we're gonna be taking some of their stuff, um, okay. So basically, this I don't know. I, I don't think we need food at the moment. Ooh, what's lure? Ooh, ooh. Change those a little bit. Name tag. I want the name tags. Mavis is lead. Name tag. All right, guys. That's that's fine. So, in the roleplay series, we're not allowed to grief anyone's thing, which I'm kind of happy about. Not because, like, my base, my base wouldn't, like, you wouldn't grief much of it. But, um, I just love these bases, and it'd be a real shame to, like, get rid of them, you know what I mean? Uh, let's see, what's here, anything, anything good? Book of Colors, no. Huh. Alright, alright. Nothing in here. I guess the, the series just started one day ago, so guys, there won't be too much good stuff. I don't know if I maybe should have waited. So, I've, I've also been looking into this, but, like, they have rooms for Builder and, like, Stealth and everyone like that. And I'm I'm actually kind of confused uh, whether or not they're allied or not. Or maybe they just made the rooms for Builder's room. Whoa. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord, Yes. Yes, I'm not too sure even how they got these. That's so much, it's so many diamonds. They had to have had some kind of, what do you call it, um, amazing pickaxe to get this many diamonds. It's like, wait a minute, wait a minute, let's, let's, let, let's just do the math real quick. Uh, 23 times 9. Oh, uh, oh, uh, real quick, mental math, mental math. Uh, past the 4... 207, that's it, guys. <laughs> that's, it. that's 207 diamonds. That's insane, guys. We just got that real quick. Real quick. Yeah, guys, as you guys can see, yeah. The home of Vinny, the home of Builder. What is this? Honestly, this is another good reason that I am raiding them right now. It's because they don't have a home for me. Obviously, something's going on, and I'm not part of it. And this is what I don't like. I like to be part of things. And yeah, guys, I think that's going to be it for this one. We got, we got a lot of diamonds out of this one. Nothing too much, but I'm also just showing off people's bases right now, because this one, I'm just, I'm loving it. It's just such a cool layout, such a cool style. They put a lot of work into it, and shout out to them, guys. Alright, so the next base, slash home, B. Next base, um, 
I'm not too sure what we're going to find or how we're going to find it, but it's going to be very interesting. We, we have to get to the right spot because I'm going to my brother's base right now. The brother, as in Captain Craft, because we've been both born from Herobrine. And we're going to need water breathing potions. I'm also going to take a strength just in case he pops on. No one's on the server currently, which is good because I just want to see. Okay, we got to put this away. Uh, my bows are good, and pearls are good. Put those in there. Water breathing. And, uh, yeah, we'll be right back, guys, once I get to the base. Alright, guys, so I kind of messed up a little bit, and I thought that an ocean monument was Captain's base, but then I realized it was just an ocean monument, and it wasn't my brother's base. But that's alright, because we have someone on. Ben the Hunt. I'm not sure. I forgot what his power is. Um... Here, um, let me. I I don't know how to check it out. Um. Oh oh oh. Wait a minute. Okay, so just now, in in the Skype chat, we I just found the chords to everyone's base, including Ben the Huns. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking we should pay him a little visit, if you know what I mean. So we have, I think we have everything we need. Let's go ahead, and pay a, a little friend a visit. I'm not too sure if two will be enough. I think I, if I can quick drop him fast enough, there'll be no problem. But hopefully he won't notice me. And I can just finish him off real quick. Uh, hopefully he's not working on his base or else he'd be in GM and I couldn't fight him. But I think, I think this should be good. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a few. Where'd I put it? No, where'd I put my sword? I just had my good sword. There it is. Uh, slash insane mobs rain bow sheep. I'm going to be explaining to you guys how the sacrifices actually work and why I'm doing them. And uh, it's not just to get the loot. There's there's a whole process um, that you guys don't understand. I'll be telling you guys at the end of the video <coughs> of how it's going to work. So let's go ahead and TP to zero zero because we can't TP right to him or or else we wouldn't be able to kill him. So we're gonna have to find his base one second. Alright, that's zero zero. Oh my lord. I, I really don't like this one, although this is the old Metatropolis. This used to be a big fight. I'm pretty sure it was the builder Herobrine and Notch fought here and destroyed this city. I'm not too sure exactly what happened. Alright, negative one seven three and three and one. One seven three Alright, so we're going to go this way. Let's go ahead and pay a little, a little visit to Ben the Hun. Hopefully, this won't take too long. And we can just get rid of him. Afraid. Yeah, I think I don't think this should be that hard. I have, I have the strength potions and golden apples, and I don't think Ben has anything right now. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm one of the best equipped right now. Oh, I found it. Oh yeah, he's done. He's done. He's done. Let's make this slightly more interesting. This is this is a really unfair battle, as we can see here. But let's try to make it so. Let's try to make it so I don't kill him, or I I can like hurt him a little bit with my freeze bow. But let's try zombie warrior real quick. Let's see if he can sneak up. Same mobs. Zombie warrior. Oh dang, this is so interesting. This is so funny. <laughs> oh, he's gonna die. Ooh, that's tough. Oh, I feel so bad. That was so mean. Oh, that was so mean. Oh, I should. I feel. I feel bad right now. I don't know what he's doing. He's trying to. He's trying to. He's trying to kill him. I, I'll kill him for him. Alright, bye. Oh, they lived. Dang, I, I'm not... Dude, my zombie warriors, though. Okay, okay. Hey, Ben. Ben's supposed to leave right now. I don't know what he's doing here. I'll, I'll, I'll save him real quick. Alright, I'm not allowed to hit him while I'm flying. So, wait. Disappearance bow. Alright, there we go. There we go. 
Oh, I feel bad right now. Uh, all right, let's see. Let's see what he does. Why is he still in here? I'm so confused. It's fine. It's fine. I feel. I feel bad right now. Uh. All right, guys. One sec. One sec. All right. Let me. Let me kill him real. I. I feel like I need to kill him once more real quick. I'm actually curious if I kill him. Ooh. Alright guys, I, I feel bad, I feel bad, I feel bad. No, no, I don't feel bad actually. I don't. I'm I'm the mob king, alright? He's supposed to bay down, obey me. Alright guys, he's supposed to obey me. He doesn't know what he's doing. That's alright guys. Um, so yeah, there he goes. There's another one that's done. There's another one that's done, guys. Alright, so I'm going to be showing you now a ritual that we do that I use almost daily to grind. And we're going to be also enchanting this armor. And hopefully, hopefully we'll be getting something good. Actually, no, we'll make a new set of armor for it. And, uh, yes, yeah, slash home B. Alright, guys, so basically how this works is all right so basically all right, all, right, all right i don't know how to explain this all right so the royal guardians of me are the exons now the way it works every mob ever created wants to be the exon and every time a mob dies for sacrifice for me it moves on to the next lifeline until it finally reaches the last lifeline of the Exxon, which is what every mob's dream is. And, um, so basically, uh, the way we do the sacrifice is we spawn a lot of Exxons, and Exxons know what they're doing. They know how the sacrifice works. And I go ahead, and I take in whatever mob I want. Let's say I'm grinding Higman. Uh, I go ahead... And I take my ability of pigmen. Here for this one, we'll do pigmen and the uh, the the mobs or whatever. Slash gm one uh, slash gm zero slash fly. If we have the pigmen and we have the zombie. Uh, one sec. Zombie warrior. And basically, what the zombie gives me are the diamond um, swords and what that pigmen give me are gold. So basically, they want to die, or that's that's basically the reason why they are hostile towards me and other things, because they want to die. See, because when they die, for example, uh, the pigmen are almost to exons. Once the pigmen die, they become exons, or like a stack of 64 pigmen turn into one exon. So once 64 pigmen come, uh, it creates an exon, like their souls create this one exon, as you guys can see here. And this is why some mobs are hostile and some mobs are not to me, because once they are hostile to me, because they want me to kill them so they can go into the next lifeline and eventually get to the uh, exons, which are the holy guardians. And um, I'm not sure if this is confusing or not, but the guardians are like... Every every mob wants to be a guardian. Every every mob wants to hail the king, and these are basically the royal guardians. And right after they they do work for me, they fight for me. This is basically my loyal and trusted things. They do all this work for me, and eventually, once they are done, I, I disappear them back to uh, a place where they wait until they can get respawned again. So every mob wants to get part of this exon once they die for example a zombie when he dies 
he goes into a skeleton. Once the skeleton dies, he goes into a zombie pigment, and uh, so on and so on. Same for the insane, insane mobs. Every mob, eventually, after a certain amount of deaths, gets to uh, the Exxon. That's why the sacrifices are so important. So it's not only for the loot. It's not only for their energy. They're doing it for themselves, and uh, that, that creates like a reasonable judgment for me to do it. It's not like that. I'm the only one who wants, uh, who doesn't want it, uh, who wants their energy. I'm not being just greedy. They all want to be Exxons, and this is the best way to get it for them. And um, so yeah, guys, as you guys can see, I'm just grinding levels right now, grinding loot. Um, it's basically a, it's a great way to get stuff. Um, as you guys can see, the Exxons are just fin finishing them off. Uh, that's also why I have my sacrifice sword every once in a while. Uh, I like to help the Exxons and do it myself, you know, I'm not that greedy. Um, but most of the time, just let them do, do their work. I'm thinking about making their own special room because, um, I don't know, I feel like it's more better, like, for this uh, process to go into, like, a separate place. This isn't, like, uh, this isn't this holy, as we like to call it. And, um, yeah, so basically this is kind of like the gods, or, like, uh, the prophecy that eventually, once you die, you go into the next world as a different mob until you finally become an Exxon. And, um, uh, Exxons, basically, they could die. The only way they can possibly die is through another player's hand. So if they die from another player's hand that's not mine, um, they die and they basically go into, like, sort of like heaven. It's like the heaven of mobs. And it's like, they finally created, they finally did what they were supposed to do, they fought for the king, they they did everything, and that's basically it, guys. So, that's basically how the, um, the mob process works, or, uh, the story of God for mobs. And, um, yeah, so we're gonna be needing a little bit more, so we'll be right back, guys, once we get a little bit more levels, so we can enchant this armor to finish off this episode, or actually... I think we might be doing a little bit, a few more, more raids, but I just want to get uh, this armor done first. So yeah, guys, we'll be right back. Finally, level 39, which I think should give us four, um, four level 30 enchants. Okay, okay. Aqua Infinity 1 for a level 30 enchant. That's disappointing. Okay. Uh, let's, let's, let's do that last, because I feel like that's going to be it. Thorns 2. Okay, I, I, that, that's pretty cool. Okay, that's pretty bad. <laughs> that's alright, that's alright. On breaking three. Oh my lord. I'm getting nothing good. There we go. Protect. There we go. This is finally a good set right here. It's gonna be something I'm gonna be using for a little bit. Uh, oh wait, wait, wait. Oh wait, why did it change? Respiration. Wait, 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 wait. What? Oh, it's because I enchanted. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Okay. Okay, never mind. I, I did not think this through. Right, respiration 3. Protection 4. Yes. Alright, guys. We are here looking for our final target today. For today, we're going to be taking on Vinny Gaming. Hopefully, he's here. And, uh... She didn't drink a strength before I go in. Maybe he's not. I'm not too sure, though. Alright, so here's this. Tab slash fly. So we can get up here faster. I think he's here. I don't know what's going on. Alright, alright. Vinny's closet. Is he in his Vinny's closet? Oh, he's not in here. Oh, where is he? Hmm. I don't really want to stick around. He has a cat that's named Tard. No. <laughs> Ooh, I feel really bad right now. Just gotta catch him off guard. Where is he? Where is he? Alright, let's see. Uh, what's going on? I don't think he's in Judgment Hall. Where'd Q to be? Oh my gosh. It's so intense. Wait, wait. There he is, there he is. Go finish him off. Finish him. Yes! 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 There we go. Guys, that's great. Whew. That was intense. <laughs> alright, alright. Alright, let's.
let's see. Yeah, I think that's it, guys. So that's going to basically sum it up for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And, uh, yeah, peace.